Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Magnus, and today I'm going to show you how to export a rule base in a readable format. So I'm sure all of you have seen like the actions where you can actually export a rule base into a CSV file. So let's just call it rules here, and I show you how it looks. And more or less, this is, I would say, pointless because this doesn't really help anything. I mean, in current rule base, we have, um, well, like 12 rules in total and this is what you get out when you export it from the smart console and do you see anything that makes it more or less worthless pointless i will show you this one you don't see what is included in the groups and i mean when you build a firewall rule you normally use groups no one is using single objects everywhere and it really depends also on your name standard. So this export to CSV, useless. It has no value, no value at all. So what can you do instead that actually provides you with a list of the rules with an easier format? Well, either you can just, well, take print screens of the rule base or you can provide like a web console or actually you can provide even a smart console. But maybe this is not feasible for everything. So there is a way to export it in an HTML format. So you're actually able to click on each single object and well, have a more like GUI feeling that you can actually send to customers or to clients. And I'll show you how to do that. So this is described within the SK120342. And this works for both multi-domain and for normal management stations. And I think it's present from, well, from R80, but this is end of life. And I hope that all of you is using R80 and above. So if we scroll down here, we can see some technical information that you get out the GGZ file, etc., etc. But the most important part to take out here, this tool is already installed on your checkpoint management. So you don't need to install anything extra to use this tool. And how to actually use this? Well, you use this from the CLI and you use this command. And there are some help tests on how to use this. And what I think is quite strange, but it actually works. And that is that it's an MDS uh, command, so to say, because it's referring to MDS and this works even on a normal management station. Uh, you can actually run it without this part as well uh, on a normal SMS, but um, let's follow the, the instructions, so to say. So what we will do is to copy this line and then we will just log in to the CLI of the management station. So now we're logged in and let's go to expert. All of these sort of commands need to be run from expert mode. And more or less just copy paste. But before we do this, because when you just write in commands like this, you're not really sure what it will happen. And there is always a help desk. So uh, dash A, H, dash H. And here it will show you like different variation that you can do. So for example, when it comes to like an MDS, well, then you need to do a, a dash D for domain name because you want to specify a specific domain. And you can also like do an uh, dash O and this is to output into different directory. So it's easier to find it. If you don't do it, it will just uh, create in the same folder that it's currently running in. And what you can do more. Well, you can do a lot of more things and we will show more of this in the MDS course, but let's just run this command and to make it easier for me to find it, I will do a dash O and I will just put it in var slash log and enter. And this takes a few seconds and it's generating a file and then we need to collect this file. And just to show you that it actually exists here, so we do change directory var slash log and then we can do ls for list and we will see it here. So we have the show package uh, and this is the rule base. So now we need to download this one. And maybe you have seen this in my previous video. So if we do a, SF, we do a SCP, so to the IP address of the management station. And 
I will just try it with my admin account. And here you will get an error saying it's not a batch one. So I have already created an SCP user. So let's do that one instead. SCP user. So this is my specific user for doing uh, SCP transfers. And this is what I will use for doing some automated backups and so on. Uh, if you haven't seen how to create an additional user and give it this permission, I have a video about that and you can just check it out here. So let's go into var slash log and pick this file. So var slash log and we have the file here and just download. And this will give an error because we don't have permission because we created the file with the admin account but we're trying to download it with a different account. So we actually need to change the permission of the file to be able to download it. So let's do that. And I mean, maybe it's not the correct way, but this is the easiest way. So change mod 777, this is more or less full access to anyone. And let's do copy paste. And this should be it. So let's do retry. And now we have the file there. And I will just unpack this file. And I'm using uh, WinRAR. And I have, of course, the, the free version. So export. So now I have a directory that looks like this. And this is important because if you open this one, it's referring to different ones. So this is an HTML tree, so to say. And yes, let's open this one with uh, Google Chrome. So this is like the main menu of what you can see. And if we want to see like the rule base, well, we need to press on this specific one because this is the access layer policies. And here we have the policy. And you see here, we can click on stuff. So if we want to see what's included in this group internal network, we can click and then we can see like these are the networks that are included in it. So this is a much better representation of the rule base and how to actually see this. And it's the same with negligated cells. And you also see here, here we have a layer. So this, you, you know, in the normal one we have, I will show you. So in the normal one, we have a seven and then we have a, a so you can press here, a sub layer. So where are these rules within this HTML? Well, it's easy to see here as well. So you have to go to this layer. So here's the web surfing and you just press on this layer and then you see the sub layer of this rule. And you can of course check like the, the NAT policy and well, you can go back and forward and see this. So this is an easy way to send a rule base to a client uh, that you don't want to give access in the web view or the web console or the smart console or just take print screens. So I think this is it for this video. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.